crazed Maxine Waters pushes for impeachment, Trump shuts her down. Hard. After claims of death threats, Maxine Waters is back, and the deranged Democrat is calling for President Donald Trump's impeachment. But as she riles up crowds of illegal aliens, Trump put her in her place. Those death threats must have truly been disturbing. Barely a week has passed and deranged Democratic Congresswoman Maxine Waters is back in front of the cameras. At this one, we have to wonder if she is deliberately trying to help Donald Trump. Because no one in their right mind would really do the things this woman does, and think they will help her party. More and more Americans are shocked at the behavior of the left. The Democrats have given up being reasonable, honest, and sane. They push their policies to the most extreme. New York Democrats are calling for the end of immigration and customs enforcement. That policy is sure to drive more Americans to the right. Maxine Waters has been their poster child for a ridiculously out-of-touch politician. Her bizarre rhetoric is completely unacceptable, from an elected official. Yet, instead of wising up, she becomes more and more insane. After White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders was kicked out of a restaurant and heckled at another, Waters called for the rest of Trump's staff to be harassed. Waters even called on people to push back against Trump supporters, a demand that can only lead to violence. Did the media condemn her for such words? Was she forced to apologize? Of course not. To deflect, the con artist claimed she received death threats. Despite those threats, she's already back before crowds, calling for Trump's impeachment. It's really quite hilarious. Waters is one of the few remaining Democrats who demand Trump's removal. Yet, like all liberals, she can't prove what exactly he should be impeached over. You'd expect she'd at least have some evidence. But, like all con artists, she is simply exploiting the emotions of the few supporters she has left. Is Waters a Judas Goat, aka, someone deliberately betraying her own party? Because I can't see any sane Democrat saying these things are meaning it. You're tired of Trump? Yes. It's so tiring to see the president help every American. Unemployment has reached incredible lows, including among black Americans. Don't you care that so many black people are working, some for the first time? That's not to mention the companies that are coming back to America, investing billions. Or the fact that ISIS is being crushed. Not to mention the historic work Trump's done with North Korea. Honestly, any American should be proud of their president. Not Maxine. This deranged lunatic continues to demand Trump's removal. She's not about to let this country go by the way of Donald Trump. Right, that makes sense. News flash, Waters, this country has gone the way of Donald Trump. Since November 8, 2016. And we've been doing pretty well, thank you very much. Perhaps we need to get rid of another politician who only spends her time whining and complaining about the POTUS. But it doesn't seem that President Trump is at all worried about Maxine. In fact, she seems to be playing right into his hands. Maxine Waters has very little power to change anything. The fact that she's fighting so hard to help illegal aliens, at a time when Trump is helping her core supporters, black Americans, means she is on the verge of destroying her own career. Waters should be thanking Trump for his tireless work to improve the black community. Instead, she calls for the removal of the one man who is helping all Americans, regardless of race. What Waters refuses to see is how much damage she is causing to her party. With every deranged speech, she is painting Democrats as hateful, unhinged, and out of touch with reality. Americans, regardless of background, are getting sick of the constant hate from the left. They haven't seen a Democrat willing to work with the president once, the very thing that can save their party. I guess that's for the best. By November this year, 